Oh my gosh, boy. So it is early o'clock in the morning. Let me turn this music on. Oh my gosh, it is extremely early in the morning. It's like five o'clock in the morning. I woke up at four. Private water fishing actually hit me up yesterday while I was at work. I actually had four hours to play in this trip. So that lets you know how up in the air this trip actually is. The wind is 17 to 18 miles per hour. We're gonna be using a paddleboard today. Bo actually hooked us up with a rack ham paddleboard. We'll be talking about that a little bit later. But we're gonna be using that paddleboard, a push pole, and a couple rods to get today done. Apparently they caught about 100 to 200 fish last time at this lake. So private water fishing sent us out. Of course they picked the right guy to actually see what's going on out there. So we're gonna go out there, catch some big ones. Apparently this lake is only two years old, but it's already producing four and five pounders in 100 fish days. So who knows, man? Let's get out there and make something happen. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like I said, if you like something about this channel, if you don't like something about this channel, let me know below. But we're going to be posting on YouTube a lot more, guys. This is a promise that I made to myself last year that I failed on. But this year, we're going to be working really hard to stay consistent on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and let's catch some fish, baby. Oh, we were at the wrong time, but I should have been looking on the website. Everything on the website is tells you exactly what to do like word for word and of course I'm just the guy who wings it but I went to the wrong place and now we're at the right place really nice paved road really easy on the car you don't have to do too much but now I think we're at the gate oh. all right guys as you can see I've closed the gate back put the locks back how they are and it shouldn't be a problem because I'm here by myself for the whole entire day when you do uh, log a fishing trip with private water fishing you get the entire lake to yourself i'm just saying you get it to yourself so let me know what you guys think about that Dude, i'm so excited man oh my god the water looks legit <laughs> oh i'm not gonna lie like y'all know me y'all know me i am pumped right now i was so excited just knowing that things are about to go down and i had a report i saw two reports and both of them were uh, saying that they really like the place, awesome day, and things like that. So, sorry, I'm just like in awe right now, man. And again, this place has only been up for two years. So, to get those reports, that's that's pretty legit. We got a lot of water to fish. Look at this, man. Absolutely beautiful. It doesn't even look like you're in Texas. What in the world? Wow. All right, boys. Well, we're officially on the water. So with this boat, I just got to get adjusted. You know, I just got to figure out my style. I got to figure out everything like that. But um, other than that, this thing is a beast, man. I've already been on it a couple times and I, I just love it. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I wouldn't lie to y'all. All right. That wind is going to be a challenge today. Let me tell you that right now. But we got that power pole, so we should be decent. So let's get out here. Let's get out here first. I'm assuming private water fishing did this. This looks like some work from them. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's keep exploring. My dream to own a place like this, man. Honestly. What I was doing was just adjusting my paddle so that I could easily maneuver around here. There we go. Okay, must have been a little guy. Came back. Whoa, all right. <laughs> First fish. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, come here, come here. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, that was a little, that was a nice fight, man. <laughs> Look at that guy. First little fish. Beautiful. Get on out of here. <laughs> so I don't, I don't have a graph or anything like that. So basically I'm just using my uh, shades and using all the structure around me to um, gauge where the water is. So using this lipless, every time I throw a little bit further and further, I can kind of get the water depth. I know it sounds weird, but I mean, that's how I'm figuring it out right now. So the further left I go, there's diff it's more uh, patches of grass. So the further right I go towards the bank, there's gonna be, God, 
day, son. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Yes, sir. Oh my god, look how he's fighting. What the heck? What the heck? All right, come here, son. Oh my god, don't you come off. Don't you come off. I was not expecting that. He is fighting. Oh my gosh, they were not lying about this spot, dude. Look at this. I'm, not, I'm for real trying. This guy is full on. I can't do anything right now. Let's try to get him closer. Oh, I just got to wear him out, dude. I don't want to lose this one. And he's not even that big. Oh, he is, he is, he is, he is. Yeah. Get in here. Let's go! <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> I told y'all, bro. I told y'all. What? Big Bertha, son. <laughs> the owners are gonna love this. Okay, man. That uh, today, I, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. Hold on. So it is, I am on the paddleboard. So just give me a break. <laughs> This is a lot of learning as well. Okay, so the cool thing about this net is I can take care of this fish and leave him in the water. He's not gonna go anywhere. And I'm not hurting him or anything. Like, he's really safe right here. This is real legit, man. You guys gotta get you a net. And I'm not gonna lie, this bubba net is just perfect, dude. I really like it. Okay, sorry. Heck yes, dude. Look at that tail. He's up shallow as can be. Beautiful fish. Yes, sir. Not bad at all. God, dog, look at that. I'm gonna get him out of here. The hard thing about using a net with treble hooks is this, but I usually don't use treble hooks too much. But that's why I got the net. Like, treble hooks is when I lose my fish. Other than that, I don't really lose a fish. And I don't want to jinx it, but. Rarely do I lose a fish on anything else. I'm, I'm keeping my hooks really sharp all the time. I'm always buying new hooks just to make sure that my hooks are sharp. So, oh, that would be the only hassle, but I'd rather that be my hassle than losing the fish, honestly. So, yeah, um, that net is A1, dude, not gonna lie. The medium is definitely way too big for the kayak. That is, This is the small. The grip is really nice, not too light and not too heavy. <laughs> all right, guys, like I said, I was just ripping it out of that grass and dude just came and nailed it. Yeah, you got to know what grass to rip it out of because some grass is just going to get on there and it's just not going to be worth it. But yeah, dude, I was kind of gauging how deep this water is and where the fish are from the bank. And since I don't have any graphs or anything like that to actually see what's going on, I'm just using like the curve of the water and things like that. So the water is going around this corner. I feel like the fish are going to be right there waiting for bait and things like that. So I'm right here on the bank. And then if you look behind me, I just have this little cut where fish could um, possibly post up and catch up on some bait fish. I know I sound like an idiot, but that's just like, that's my tactic and obviously it's working. <laughs> little guy, but. <laughs> they freaking fight. <laughs> <laughs> Look how aggressive this guy is, dude. He's not playing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get on out of here. <laughs> that guy was fired up. <laughs> what the heck? Let's see, it's on this side. I feel like this is a little too. No idea where that one came from. He set the hook on himself. <laughs> Just to tank. <laughs> I mean, look at my rod, dude. Who knows how big this fish actually is. <sighs> Let's get the net. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need the net. Yeah, for sure need the net, for sure need the net. Okay. Oh 
that fish was massive. Oh my God. That fish was huge. What? Let's just get back in there. Let's just get back in there. What? That guy was massive. What? Alright, let's just get back in there. Let's not I can replay that later. It is what it is. Let's just try to catch another big one, but dude, that was crazy, man. This place has definitely got my attention. <laughs> Y'all see how quiet I got, man? Like I didn't even know what to think, dude. Like I seriously did not know what to think. There's literally fish right here. Let's see if we can. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Unreal, dude. Wow. All right. Let me get out of here, guy. That would have been cool. <laughs> That's a good one. Yes, sir. No, nope, just a freaking beast of a fighter. Oh, dang, son. Now that is a good fish. Heck yeah. <laughs> God. Y'all wouldn't believe how you should drag, though. Jeez. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. That was wild. God, nailed it, guy. Oh my god, an even bigger one. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Get in here. Don't you shake that. All oh, right, they are not playing games over here. Oh, look at that guy. Heck yeah. That is a nice one, man. Smoked it. Ah, dang, son. Look at that guy. Nice healthy fish, man. All these fish are healthy as heck. Whoo, man. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, this is awesome, dude. I mean, I'm on a paddleboard. It's like 17 mile per hour winds. Uh, overcast, just a little bit of overcast. 77 degrees out in Texas. We got shorts. It's just all over the place, man. But we are catching fish, dude. Just came up and smoked it, man. Look at that chunky guy. Very healthy fish. What in the world is that thing? Whee! Alright. <laughs> this guy came out of nowhere. <laughs> I literally have a fish on I'm blowing like a hundred miles per hour. <laughs> Relax though. Just relax. I got you. I know that was a hard little fight. <laughs> Woo guys, man, this is not this is not easy on the paddleboard. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely didn't think about that. This wind is going crazy right now. It's just getting worse and worse, but we're just gonna try to make the best of it. Uh, right now I'm just getting adjusted to this paddleboard, but you can see, like, dude, this is absolutely legit. I can just sit down, have my camera on here, and just chill. 
Like, I really do like this paddleboard. So it is cool to get out on this bad boy and really wind test it. I mean, to be honest, it, it is cool. So I really can't complain, but love this place, man. Love the layout. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Like, it is absolutely gorgeous. You guys got to come here just to vibe out. Like, honestly, um, I got here on a lucky day. Like, this is not summertime. It's not too hot. I got a little bit of forecast, so we're good. Got a little breeze coming in and out of here. Can't complain about that. They, I'm just trying to figure out what they really want. That one lure that they will lose their mind for. And I can't really figure it out. I've been using the swim jig. They're eating the heck out of the swim jig. Um, I was using the shaky head. They were hitting the shaky head. And then I was using the uh, lipless. They were hitting the lipless. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what they want so I can get to Big Bertha. Uh, Big Bertha, she did come she hit the shaky head actually so i don't know why i don't have one tied on right now i probably should we're gonna go ahead and hit the opposite side of the bank and just keep going down we got plenty of time we're gonna probably come back up and down here a couple more times and see if we can catch some fish baby let's go what's going on there, there you go. just a little guy really jumped into the boat this is man Hey. Lay down. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. Get over here. Oh, they fight like freaking crazy man it's like fish after fish after fish i'm gonna tie our lipless back on and see if we can snack some fish up oh my god dang son Woo! jesus <laughs> i've watched all that happen didn't miss a beat. Wow. Jeez, bro. All right. <laughs> okay, big dog. <laughs> just destroyed it, man. Look how he just smoked that thing. Oh, get out of here, guy. No way, right when I cast it. Wow, that's cool. Let's lay down. Let's lay down. Uh huh. It's so good, dude. Crazy. You never guess how big this fish was, man, with the way it's fighting. The hook is choked. God dang, son. <laughs> Y'all are in for a fight, man. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> like this guy is not even that big and he's he is destroying me. <laughs> Alright. Oh, really? <laughs> A hundred jumps. <laughs> and that's when you chose to come off. Wow. That was literally right when it hit the water. No way. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Hammer that sucker. Some healthy suckers in here, man. <laughs>
<laughs> Nothing like it, dude. The smallest fish just nailed it, bro. <laughs> Making you think he's like a six pounder. <laughs> just on him, man. I definitely can believe they caught 100 fish here. Like, 100%. Oh my gosh, I think I'm at 20 already. Let's just start counting now. Let's say this is 15, that's 16. Now we're gonna start counting. <laughs> we might be able to get 100, man. Let's try to get 100. 16, I think we could do it. Get on the school. Three times in a row. Woo! Yes, sir. <laughs> Three times in a row, my guy. Woo! He wanted that one. Woo, boys! Private water fishing got something locked in, man. I knew that this company was awesome, and I really knew that they had something going, but when you come out here and actually see what they got going on, man, look at this, dude. Big shout out to Boat for being stable enough to, for me to be able to trust my phone right there. This is an extremely stable paddleboard. We're gonna talk about that in an entirely different video. But back to what I'm saying, private water fishing, absolutely amazing, man. This place was everything that it said it was gonna be online. It is a 40 acre lake that fishes like it's 80. A fish just jumped out of the water, man. I mean, you can't make it up. Cool thing about this, they put forage fish in here in 2018, and then 2019, they stocked the fish. It's currently 2021. Those fish have only been in here maximum two years. They're all healthy. The fight is what's so amazing, man. Every fish is a mystery. You don't know if it's going to be a three pounder, four pounder, five pounder, or a dink. Like, there's, it, it's crazy. When I caught that big fish over there that jumped off, I'm going to play a clip of that. That really sucked. I didn't know how big that fish was going to be because they all fight like that. So, this is really cool, man. You get the place all to yourself. The fishing is amazing. The scenery is beautiful. And all you have to do is pay an annual fee, and then you have to pay your reoccurring fee every time you go out. So, private water fishing, man awesome awesome company i would definitely invest in this as many dms i get from you guys about asking hey bomb boys i need all these spots where are your spots at oh my god secret location no i'm not giving out my spot i'm not giving out my sauce i won't even give it to my mom i'm keeping all my spots to myself but yeah like i said man this is where it's at bro if you guys are struggling to get fishing spots or you guys are just want to go out and make sure that you have a great time maybe you want to take your family out maybe you want to take that girl out who's coming into town and show her your fishing skills this is where it's at baby i'm not lying i mean it's it's here Yeah, dog. 